What's going on guys? So a little while back I go I made a video showing some tilapia fingerlings. Well I made a small system for them and I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys about that. Now this system probably cost me to build uh, right around two hundred dollars maybe give or take uh, and I'll kind of go through that with you a little bit but uh, let's go ahead and check it out. So right here we have a hundred gallon Rubbermaid stock tank and I don't know if you can see the fish, but they're up top there looking a little hungry. And what I have powering it is an Eco Plus 396 pump. Very great pump. Matter of fact, this is the same one, same pump I started with from the very beginning. One of the things on this system is, you see it's just basically set on some concrete blocks. Making it real easy to set up. Got little wedges in there. This one needs some more rock in it. And it's got them level. Pretty much a straightforward system, guys. Pretty easy. My guy would say, so easy a caveman could do it. Obviously it is because I did it. Now up here in the group, it's, oh, snap, what happened to my... This thing was doing, I just harvested a bunch of... Huh. I wonder, you know, I lowered the height of the water in here. One of the things is dry. Or well, it just died out. I don't know what happened to it. But that was some oregano. Anyway, here's some basil cuttings. I'll just do some basil in here off my bigger plant on another system. I'll show you guys just to, in another video just to kind of get it going. Um, I had some squash to put in there, but I took it out. So these plants just got put in here. They're not looking so hot. But basically what it is, is just a pump comes up, splits off, the 396 splits off. See, it's got a pretty good water flow. One into here, one into here. And if you look back down, this comes right back out into the thing. No filtration, no radial flow, no nothing like my other system. So let's go ahead and give these guys a few little pieces of grub here and check them out, feeding it down. So anyways guys, what I primarily have here is a uh, tank that I'm just going to be keeping, like I say, the fingerlings in, the ones that are two or three, up maybe up to four or five inches long, just so I can uh, kind of grow them out, and then I'll put them into my bigger tank that actually I have my grow out fish in, and I got some in there right now that are ready to harvest, uh, I mean they're probably a few pounds, and um, I just haven't got around to it, been busy, but I'm going to want me some fresh fish. And when I get to doing that, I'll show you guys them, and then we'll move these over. <clears throat> I gotta do something because I gotta make another system for the other fish I got near the fry that are growing up. But anyways, they're doing good, and this system's actually working pretty good. This is basically an experiment with just no filtration whatsoever. So basically, guys, that's it. Real simple setup. Nice little fingerlings in there. They're growing pretty good, and uh, I'll just keep you guys posted on what's happening with that. Thanks a lot for watching, and keep your eye out for some more videos. Thanks. Bye. GoPro, stop recording. Wait. Say it again. GoPro, stop recording.